All right, hanging these uh, tape boards, I'm going to call them, uh, just to, to keep them kind of safe and out of the way, just put a couple of screws in the, into a, a stud 16 inch on center, drill 3 8 hole, and then this can clear the head of that uh, screw. Now my other one, uh, let me grab the piece here for you, has this board that um, sits on the back if you remember. But what I want to happen here is I want it to come over the, the uh, heads of these bolts, drop down, and that way if I brush it um, or catch it somehow it doesn't it doesn't come off the wall. It's going to be locked to the wall. So what I've done here is I've taken this board and I've take, took it to my drill press and I drilled uh, first a quarter inch hole and then another oh, quarter inch off center and then dropped the bit down through the center. Did the same thing on the other end here. Uh, these are not perfectly centered and I don't really care about that but uh, the, the depth of cut is important here, so I, they both went down two inches. All right, so when it goes over the, so when this goes over the head of that bolt, you have to imagine that this, this is the, yeah, this is the way it'll face, sorry. When it goes over the head of that bolt, I've got to have a slot now on the other side for this to drop into. So all I'm going to do is take my table saw and cut that slot and then finish it off with a chisel. So I'm creating a T-slot with drill bits and a saw blade. And let me Okay, I got my, uh, my cut location set by the fence. Then what I did was I took a 3 2 one block here and uh, set up, uh, first of all I brought this up until the blade just started to, to catch the workpiece right right there. Run in my 321 block with a one inch, half inch, a quarter inch, and set my stop. Okay, so actually that can come back just a hair. And the reason I'm doing inch and three quarter is because I want the the head of the bolt to sit in a pocket. Um, I think you understand. So there's the, there's going to be the slot, and then there's going to be a, the, uh, on top of that slot will be a uh, an area where uh, half of the half of the head of the screw is going to sit into it, and then that'll make positive res registration on both sides, so that it ends up being level. All right. So I'll make this cut. Then I'll uh, adjust my fence over, and I'm, I'm basing it off of my marks here. I took the marks directly off the screws on the wall. I didn't. I'm not using a, a measurement uh, because it's a little. It's different than 16. It's a little bit uh, wider. So that's how I'll cut the first one here. So I, you can see I had to go a little bit wider. That's all right. As long as I stay inside these cut lines. So that's good. Now I'll do the same thing over here. And we'll continue on. Yes. Oh. 
that drops down perfectly. So I don't need to do any chisel work. Here I thought I had to go deeper. That will line up perfectly. So all I need to do is reinforce this bit here so that uh, it's resting against, th this is resting against something a little more firm than that saw curve. Yeah, I drilled my holes too deep as well. All right. I'll make some, I'll make a couple of plugs here. And we should be good. Okay. It looks good. It works for me anyway. Uh, hangs nicely. No danger of it coming off the wall because it's locked in place by those screw heads. And uh, I, I like the way it turned out. It's, uh, it, it's a good place to keep it out of the way and out of trouble basically. What I did was rather than fill that um, saw kerf here, I just I fashioned a couple of plugs out of uh, some half inch oak that I had. I, I uh, planed it down to thickness, took my uh, block plane and rounded the edge over, cut two three quarter inch pieces off and then just Put them in the slot, no glue. I mean, it was a, it's a nice, tight fit. And just drove them home to the bottom of that, uh, of that drill pocket I made, which was too deep. But now, when I put this on there, I can feel that screw head uh, hitting that piece of oak rather than the, the weak part of the uh, cut there. So I'm happy with that. There's no need to plug that. Uh, saw curve. So there you go. That, that's going to sit there just fine. I got my other three um, waste boards and my right angle fixture that goes with this in one of my drawers there and that's it. We're good to go. So this board basically I use that for you know engraving and then this one I'll use for uh, tenon work. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.